Just doing human tasks is not enough for modern-day robots made in Japan. They are increasingly required not only to act like humans, but to look like humans. A robotics laboratory at Osaka University unveiled the latest versions of its androids, an adult female and a little girl, during a recent robot technology symposium in Tokyo. Each is equipped with about 50 sensors and a number of motors that allow them to move in a human-like manner. The android skin is made of flexible silicon instead of hard plastic. They blink, flutter in their eyelids, and even breathe with compressed air pumped into their bodies. When touched on the face, the taller robot, Repli Q1, shows facial expressions as if it really felt the tickle. She seems friendly most of the time, but gets grumpy occasionally when a stranger pats her on the shoulder. When that happens, she turns around and says, Stop it! What's the matter with you? Developers of the Android say they have put a lot of work into their appearances, believing that a human look gives a robot a stronger presence. These androids are designed to be used as conversation partners for elderly and bedridden people, as receptionists, and even television anchor persons. The Japanese government estimates the market for service robots will rise to 10 billion US dollars within a decade. Robots have a position in Japanese society unlike that in any other country.